Hello and welcome back for day 17 of 25 Days of Drams. I'm back on my own today after Greg Dillon's cameo yesterday for day 16. Um, 25 Days of Drams, win all the uh, drams in the advent calendar here. Tell us your thoughts on advent calendars and what you'd like to see for next year so we can make it happen and tune in until Christmas to hear about the last eight or so great drams that we have in our calendar. So let's dive in. Day 17. It is, this is a special one for me, and I'll tell you why shortly, Cotswolds Distillery, and it's the Cotswolds Single Malt. That is an English single malt whiskey, no surprises there, Cotswolds is in England. So why is this special to me? Well, there's a, there's a few reasons actually, there's, and this is intertwined into the Dram Team's history. Um, but first of all, I live in Bristol, the Dram Team's office is in Bristol, in the southwest of the UK, and the Cotswolds Distillery is probably our closest distillery. Um, it's a toss-up between that and Penderyn in South Wales, but um, the Cotswolds is certainly one of the closest, and it's a beautiful drive to get there right through the Cotswolds and all the picturesque villages. So that's the first reason that it's interesting to me. Uh, the second reason, uh, it's, it's very new. Uh, the Cotswolds Distillery, oh, I can't remember when they released it now, but I think it was uh, about a year ago, probably that, um, they released their first ever single malt, and this is it, three years old. Now, three years old, you might feel it's a bit underwhelming, and you'd be within your rights to think that, but you would not think that if you had tried it. It is absolutely delicious. So this whiskey, don't just take my word for it, Jim Murray, who publishes the Whiskey Bible every year, rated uh, this 95 out of 100. Uh, much as it's a controversial book, the Whiskey Bible, and it's just one man's opinion, he does know and drink a heck of a lot of whiskey. And so to give something as young as this 95 points out of 100 just reflects the care and attention the team at Cotswolds Distillery have put into producing incredibly high quality spirit. So only three years old. This is actually from that inaugural release. I don't know how many bottles it was, but I do know that in a, a fit of excitement um, when the Dram Team was first getting started about three years ago, I put my name down to uh, reserve two of those very first bottles. I kept one, it's still on my shelf, and I gave one to my friend Rob, Rob Anstey, who's a member of a local whiskey club I'm in here in, in Bristol, and I believe that one's all gone now, I've still got some of mine left, but it is, it is an exceptionally good whiskey for the age, and it's special to have something on your shelf that is personally important to you. And the reason it's intertwined to the Dram Team's history is that the team at uh, the Cotswolds facility, that's primarily Dan Zor, who's the uh, owner, uh, and uh, their marketing uh, manager at the time allowed the Dram Team to come and film our launch video there uh, just three years ago. So that's on our About Us or Introduction to the Dram Team page on our website if you want to look at it. But that was all filmed at the Cotswolds Distillery and a lot of our product photography that we still use now is taken on the casks outside of the Cotswolds Distillery. So very special to the Dram Team, special to me personally and a really high quality whiskey. So definitely get over to the Cotswolds Distillery, go on the tour, it's a very nice little tour they've got together, and try their whiskey or get hold of a bottle of it. I believe it's available in a few UK uh, supermarkets now. So that is day 17. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for day 18. Bye bye.